What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about um, Zechariah chapter 11. Zechariah chapter 11. We see the prophecy of the Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ, being rejected. And we're going to get into the prophecies what led up to the New Testament. So when people talk about Jesus is not in the Old Testament. He is every bit in the old in the Old Testament. So today is one of those days that you're going to get a a very clear understanding of the Messiah being rejected by the people and how it breaks down. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So first, I want to do is the first breakdown is you're going to see the prediction of Israel's devastation by Rome. This was because due to the rejecting the Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ. So things happened to Israel because of them rejecting our Lord Jesus Christ. This is covered in verses one to three. So you'll see it in these, you'll see it in these verses right here. Okay. So now we go into verses four to fifteen. Four to fifteen, what we're gonna see here in verses four to fifteen is um, the cause of Israel's destruction because they rejected the Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ. They're, because of their rejection, it was because of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stick around to the end because I'm going to give you some Bible verses to be able to... Matter of fact, I'm going to put the Bible verses as we go through this. I'm going to put the Bible verses in this so you'll be able to understand. So the cause of Israel's destruction was because of the rejection of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And this is actually covered in chapter 11, verses 4 to 15. Four, uh, correction, 4 to 14. So chapter 11, verses 4 to 14. So in this chapter, all the way down to 14, right here. So what we're going to see, what you're going to see also is when you're going to see the, the 30 pieces of silver, the 30 pieces of silver, you're going to come to a section of the 30 pieces of silver. And the 30 pieces of silver is going to give you the is going to put you to the prophecy. Well, this is a prophecy, but the pro prophecy going to be fulfilled in Matthew 27 verses 1 to 10. So Matthew chapter 27 verses 1 to 10 that you're going to see. Okay? Awesome. And the last part is now we're going to go down to 15 to 17. And what are you going to see in 15 to 17? That's here. What you're going to see in 15 to 17 is the consequences of rejecting the Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ. There was consequences. And the consequences of rejecting our Lord Jesus Christ was judgment, deception by a bad shepherd, the Antichrist, that the elect will even be um, deceived. Deceit, deceive will happen, deception will happen, and deception will continue to happen as long as you reject our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is covered in verses 15 to 17. So let me give you a little introduction and tell you a little bit about what to expect and what is what's the lead up into this chapter. Okay. We encounter now a shocking transition, an almost unbelievable turn of events. The change in the tone and prediction of chapter 11 leave us flabbergasted, bewildered, practically speechless. It is hard not to, read, not to read this passage without our jaws dropping to the floor and our mouths agape in disbelief. God's people had been given the greatest promise of, of, of blessings imaginable. The Lord had assured them of prosperity, safety, and victory over all their enemies. Even more, they had been assured of the Messiah's coming, his salvation, and the coming kingdom. But all of this, all of this good news was only part of the story. But tragically, the rest of the story includes the Messiah's rejection. God's people would inexplicably, incomprehensibly reject their own Savior. This is almost unthinkable. After all of the wonderful promises, after all of the strong warnings, how could people reject such a gift? But this is the clear message of this pro of these prophecies. We are left wondering why, how could Israel reject, reject Jesus Christ, their true shepherd? 
That's what you're going to see in this. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you type amen, you'll get a personal message from me. Also, you can go and check out my YouTube channel by typing in my name in the YouTube and looking for um, Zechariah chapter 11 and get the full and go into the live section and get the full interpretation, the full breakdown of this of this chapter. If you don't want to read it, if you don't want to study it yourself or you want to study along with someone. So I want to thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your family. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up so it could be shared with other people. God, thank you.